All right, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a range test of this 2018 Smart for Two electric drive. Now, this is the second generation Smart for Two EV uh, for the United States. Um, this is a complete, like, different body style upgrade, uh, especially inside. The car looks completely different compared to the first generation one. Um, of course, this one does not have fast charging options, so we're gonna be kind of limited as to you know how far I can go in this range test and how long it will take for me to charge but nonetheless it's definitely an upgrade compared to the first generation one now this one here is rated for more or less about 70 to 80 miles of range um, does level 2 charging only but does instead of 3.3 I believe it does 7.6.6 or 7.2 I don't recall exactly but it's uh, almost double what the previous one can do so I'm taking this car over to Mango Tai it's about 31 miles from here and then I'm gonna get some food I'm gonna get a thumbnail shot of the ocean since we're going to the Pacific or excuse me the Atlantic um, side or coast and then we're gonna go ahead head back to this location which could be another 31 to 35 miles car has like only 7,000 miles on it so it's pretty much brand new and it feels brand new, especially if you look around. It's crispy clean. Um, we got 77 miles to empty. I'm gonna put the window down because it is a little warm outside. And we're gonna go ahead and reset this uh, trip meter. One second, right here. We'll reset this one right here. All right, we'll do this one as well. And let's go ahead and start this trip. There we go. we have about 74% of the battery left it's 59 miles left in the range I've been driving for mm, let's see I think it was like 20 minutes oh, excuse me actually <laughs> 27 minutes um, about 18 miles and it says 40 mile per hour average but it's actually been about 45 to 55 and um, we're doing really good so far we still have about 12 miles left to Thai mango or mango Thai and um, I will update you once I get there all right right there Thai mango all right let's go ahead and look at the uh, current stats so we have 58% left on the battery. We started with 99, so that means we've beaten up about 41% since um, we started. So 49 miles left on the range. Let's have a look at our overall like score, for example. 86%, which I think is okay. And we've driven about 47 minutes and uh, driven 30 miles, average 38 miles per hour. Um, so it, overall, this trip, it was about 80%, 45 to 55 miles per hour. And about, the remaining was like, you know, 25 to 35 miles per hour. So for the most part, I think that was predominantly higher speeds. So um, if you add those 30 miles to the current range, I mean, that brings us pretty close to 80 miles of range. That of course is on eco mode. So if we turn off eco mode, that brings it down to 44, so right around 75 miles, right? So, but let's keep that on. And as you can see here, I had my window cracked open a couple times throughout the trip. AC has been off the whole time, and it is a little, a little toasty in here. 
but nonetheless, if I, when, especially at those speeds I was traveling, like, you know, the 55, 45 miles per hour, you know, this right here brings in plenty of air. So that's quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get some food and we'll be back to go do our, um, uh, the thumbnail shot and then we make our trip right back to where we started. All right, we're done eating at the place right there time to get back inside the car all right let's go ahead and start her up there we go now it's time to find a great scenic spot to do a thumbnail for this car. Here, this is as close to the beach as I can get. Right there. So let's get some photos. All right, now let's go ahead and head back to our home point. We got our pictures, and now we have a pretty close race back. Now, the range here right now says 43 miles on eco mode. Um, Battery-wise, it should be saying something similar. 52%. Uh, so we started with 99%. I believe we've eaten up about 47% in total. So we have about 5% to play with. And I got a feeling by the time we get to the destination or close to it, it's going to put us in some kind of turtle mode. We've in total driven today about 35 miles um, from that from where we started and an hour 18 minutes in total and our destination going back is about 33 miles quick start left on the battery about 34 miles of range right and our GPS says we have about 24 miles left to our destination and so far the you know the distance or the range I have left in this car versus the you know distance to destination it was bouncing around between 10 and 11 miles in difference so that means like I could come back to base with about 10 or 11 miles left now that I've picked up some speed it's bouncing around between 9 and 10 so the you know 60 miles per hour is really using up that battery and I'm actually going below the speed limit because this is a 65 mile per hour zone but luckily for us it looks like we'll be taking a left turn at about a mile and a half and from there should be a 55 or a 45 mile an hour zone so um, I don't think that gap should be should grow any uh, wider um, because I want to make sure we make it back to base battery about 21 miles of range and the roads are great flat not that much wind and very warm outside 74 now <laughs> the gap between my GPS and my range is closing in tighter and tighter so earlier was you know between 9 and 10 miles difference now it's more or less like <laughs> like a set six to seven mile difference so this uh, my GPS says I have about 14 miles left to destination whereas my range says I have about 21 miles of range left so you know um, 
as I get closer, I think it's going to be very, very close. I think I'm going to be left with like five or six miles left. Maybe, maybe less. I'm not sure. But uh, at this point, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to keep it a little bit below the speed limit just so I can make it. Um, but, you know, for the heck of it, let's bump it up by one mile per hour. And there we go. All right. Just got that battery reserve level in uh, warning meaning that we are critically low on battery, or as in like 20% or less. So we got about 16 miles of range, and about, focus, come on now, 10 miles to destination. So uh, we're gonna make it, no problem. I know that for a fact, because now we're in, we are in a 45 mile per hour speed limit zone, so that's not gonna be an issue at all. When we do get back, who knows, it might give us another indicator where it might cut power to like one third or something. So let's find out. Right, made it back. This total trip took me about two hours and 18 minutes. 68 miles driven in total, about 92%. Uh, I used up from the battery. Um, average speed right here was actually a lot higher than what you see right there. It was probably closer to the upper 40s, if not lower 50s. And let's just verify the uh, percentage for the battery. Should be about 7%. There we go. And that range right there did indicate about eight to nine miles left before it disappeared, which was about 10 minutes ago. So I'm assuming, assuming by now it's probably around you know, five or six miles left um, on the battery. So all in all, great car, especially in eco mode, it's fantastic. Uh, I'd say eco mode does not make the car super sluggish. It's very doable, especially around you know, in town driving. So if you're in the market to get one of these things, um, I say go for it because um, you know for the money you know especially for in-town commuter um i don't think there's anything better so thanks for watching see you in the next video